Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. Today I'm joined by Paulie and Ger, and we're going to be discussing uh, something quite strange today. A uh, team, a team that I need with the league less than a month away and Valentine's Day in the same night. It's the love of football we're talking about today. Uh, league of Ireland, greatest league in the world, um, but I am a complete newbie. Now, I've been to loads of games. I've lived in Cabin Teeley, been to Cabo games, been to Bray games, lived in Athlone, went to Athlone games, and lived in Galway, went to Galway games. But I've never had that massive supportive following that I should have, my fault. But this year I've said, you know what I'm gonna do? Join you guys and support the league and have a bit of crack and enjoy it. But I just don't know which team I should be going for. Now, obviously I have a huge Shells fan here and a huge Pats fan, so I know which way you're gonna tell me to go. But if there was someone coming into the league, like I'm sure there's a lot of people this year watching this and just joined the league or really trying to support the league this year that want to be very supportive for just one team, which you have to do in football, you know, at the end of the day. Well, if I'm from, from one league at least. From one league at least, yeah, exactly. Which team would you be telling me to, to, to look at? Well, obviously into? I'd be telling you to go for Sherwin because I've been going to Sherwin games since I was um, 10, 11, but I have my granddad who was from that part. So you have that connection? Yeah, but that's, that's what got me into it. And the thing is, I used to be bringing my friends, or my dad would bring me, sorry, and then I would be bringing my friends and my uncle, my cousin, my brother, and then, generally speaking, it was like a lot of my mates actually follow shells because they were going to see shells when they were younger. Yeah. So, so they, we, we would have been going all on season tickets. Um, me, my cousin, my brother, and then generally speaking, one of our best mates would generally come with us and yeah. had season tickets as well. So we were go we were going conse consecutively um, all the time growing up. So I always had that um, that thing growing up. But I think. Shells is such a historic club as well, yeah. you know, a very decorated club in terms of history and winning stuff. And obviously there's the, the, the thing that you probably more so know from, from being kind of a newbie is the, the Deportivo game that the European rule yeah, Shells went, went on. And then it kind of all went tits up from there. But the, I think there's something beautiful now about the fact that I know, I know they've been back up into the Premier since, but I think this year they, they've a much better chance of staying up. They've much more, uh, they're financially much more stable than probably since back then. Yeah. Even although they're called stable, I think it was kind of borrowing without realizing. But anyway, um, <laughs> money was just resting there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but basically, what, what, I'm, what I'm saying is that I think Shells will be on to something good here. They've obviously good underage setup. They've good uh, women's setup as well, which which has gone really well. Uh, the academy's good. Everything, I just, uh, there's just a, a romantic thing from my point of view, which I have learned that I think other people could tap into as well. Um, you'll see, you'll start seeing more yeah. of the Shells fan coming out in their droves this season as well. I think once you kind of get a couple of games into you, you'll kind of see. And I think for you as someone who's coming into the league, I think it'd be more so you trialing a few games yeah. and seeing what How it feels. fits you the most. I can't say, oh, go follow Shells, and you're going to go, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> but maybe someone in the comments, and this is why we want you guys to get involved in, is that someone maybe in the comments can turn around. Please, yeah. And in the comments, give an educated reason why that you I should, should be following this team. Bowls, Rovers, um, Pats, which we'll let you talk about in a few, a few minutes. Um, it could be Cork City, I mean, you're from Galway, yeah? Yeah. So it could be Galway United, it could be anything. Um, but you're leaving the door open there for Big time, to yeah. not just be Galway. You want because well, you might not get the chance to go to Galway every week. See, the thing is, and you're living up here. I was born in Dublin, lived in Dublin for 10 years. My dad used to bring me to Bray games. And, you know, I remember going down there, having the hot chocolate, and watching Wesley Charles kick balls, you know, onto the road. And then I moved to Galway. And funny enough, Wesley Charles moved to Galway as well. So I, was, I went to a couple of Galway games and watched them there. And then I moved that home for work. Where kicked the balls there? Then. Into the fields <laughs> in Galway. So then I moved that home for work. So I went to a couple of Athlone games. And then I had a friend who was playing for Athlone and Galway. I was watching those games as well. But like, you're a Pats fan. And like, you know, we call you the culture caca. So you know your football. Do you know what I mean? But like, what, what made you a Pats fan? Because I was similar to that. <laughs> you were the tough team to follow. Um, I was a similar boat when I came up to Dublin five years ago. In college, I'd never been to a League of Ireland game. I've always been said, I had a soft spot for the West of Ireland teams, your, your Galways, your Saigos, and even Longford, because it's not that far from our Scotland. Yeah. Earliest memories of League of Ireland football, seeing Longford win the Cup in 2003, ironically, actually, against St. Pat's, and 2004 against Waterford. But, um, yeah, so like I was 
in the scenario situation was in college at Bay Farmers, Fair and Yerry in Shakur, Lippman Parmers down Drimna, again Drimna a twenty minute walk from Richmond Park. Went friendly with a lot of Pats fans, said sure go down some Tuesday evening. Went to Derry, seen Greg Bolger score a goal from in his own half and kind of hooked That was it. That, that was, was it. it. Like, Love it for a um, Yeah, just kind of like got an attachment, obviously because I was in college and being from the country, you were going home a lot of the weekend, so I wasn't getting so many games except for the big week games. Yeah. But then like obviously you come up here and you're working in Dublin and you find the same last circle down there and you just kind of start building up the fondness and attachment. You know, for for a newbie kind of coming in from somewhere outside the area, I actually found the fans kind of very welcome and very nice and very easy in chat to and once they kind of realise where right, he is, this fellow knows his stuff regardless of where he's from, mm. very good as well. Paul touched on as well, I suppose you can tonight with Shelburne with Derrick Stark um, as well, you know, Pats as well with what Brian Kerr did back in the 90s as well. And even our European ventures, you know, the Elsenberg game in 2008, but then went on to play Hearts of Berlin uh, in the RDS through you know, in the Europa League, or what was the UEFA Cup back then, first round. Can't remember the name of the team, but we bet a Russian team in the third qualifying round of the Europa League in 2009. Won the first leg, won the other Richmond. 3 0 down in Russia, got two goals, went through the away goal. It was great moments like that. In the drought to win the cup back in 2014, it was after years of heartbreak. I won't mention Derry City there. Um, so, yeah, just kind of little things kind of like that as well. And last year as well, just from doing a bit of media work as well, was between the stripes, going down to a lot of Pats games. I felt quite, you know, got to know the, even the things like people from behind the scenes in the club. Uh, obviously, I've been chatting to Harry quite well. T days, things kind of like that as well, and just kind of felt a good attachment towards as well. It's you know, it's a good area, even pre match to go as well. Plenty of nice pubs in Shakur as well to kind of go into, obviously, because there's always that nice attraction as well to go from work on a Friday evening. And just it's kind of built from there, you know. So, yeah, that's why we call them the Kulji Kaka. That knowledge, wow, beautiful. <laughs> and but I actually did a social experiment as well. So, what I did was I went and I followed all. The uh, I like this. Yeah. All of the League of Ireland division, Premier Division, and D- D- Division One teams, just to see, you know, first of all, I wanted to see what kind of fan interaction they had, how passionate the fans were. And let me tell you, like every club has those fans, and it's great to see. They're all really, really positive. So sometimes some of the things off the pitch can be bad, but once the players start playing and the league start coming back, you can actually see how enthusiastic and positive the energy around all the clubs are. The only club to follow me back were Finn Harps. So does. Is that is that is that a match made in heaven there, myself and Finn Harps? I don't know. Probably Horgan would probably give you a phone call now. Yeah, there you go, like so well, well, we we're actually having our uh, our fan preview on Sunday with the a historian from, from Finn Harps and their media officer, so maybe if I could come in they might convince you to yeah. to become a, a Finn Harps fan. But there's also other clubs there. I mean you might enjoy Daily Mount in terms of the atmosphere there or Shamrock Rovers in terms of their atmosphere. Um, I'm sure Shamrock Rovers uh, B team could do with a couple of fans as well. Uh, I, I think they're interesting. Well, actually, the work with that is a Shamrock Rovers fan. He was actually saying that they're already organising the bus to go down to yeah, Longford. Yeah, Gary, Gary Parsons was on yeah. the show the other day. They organised the bus to go down to Longford for the first, for the first, home, for the first game of the season for the for Shamrock Rovers Bs or two. Mm. Gee, that's the great support that so that's, that's great to see already. Nah. Still, they're going to get behind them and maybe prove the first division clubs around that they are going to get behind and bring great, yeah. great support. But I think the question still stands. Like, I'm not going to choose, yeah, I don't want to be one of these people who just jumps into something straight away. You know, I like to kind of flirt with the idea a little bit, a little bit of foreplay with some clubs. So we'll see how we get on. It might be a case of, uh, like, they used to do in Soccer AM where they used to make them pull the name. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they, they had to stick with that team and they got the jersey and stuff like that. It's good because they, they, well, yeah. they used to actually yeah. stick with the teams. Not a bad idea, you know? So, I'm, you know, I, I'm not, look, I don't mind traveling. I am committed to the league this year. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but I don't have Sligo so playing a lot of games on Saturdays if that suits you as well so did, so did Longford there you go but in fairness now as a man who's been to a couple of, of the Midlands El Clasico let me tell you as an Athlone fan I don't think I could do that so maybe no, you know can't. what I'm open to I'm open to everything Longford you've maybe you know flirt with me a little bit I'll flirt back we'll see how we get on the question still stands what, 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 you know what I mean like what team should I be going for I'm not going to choose here now but if you'd like to leave a comment and let us know why you're so passionate about your club, why you would like an extra supporter, why you think that your team is the perfect team to support, then by all means, I will read them all. I will really enjoy it. And it's going to go buy a jersey straight away as soon as he picks his team. <laughs> well, I'm hoping they'll send me a jersey. But join, hey, join the Ultras. Yeah, I'm going to join the Ultras. I'm going to have the flares. Well, you know, the Longford Town flares or anything like that. I'm sure there's, there's, there's a few people out there that can help me up with some flares, but we'll see uh, how we get on. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to, to picking a team and having a team. So if you could let me know uh, which one I should go for, then that would be great. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll speak to you soon.